hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new around here welcome to my channel and today i'm bringing you this video it's going to be a tech video because i recently well today actually just brought a new camera a new camera look at it look at it look at it it may not be all that but i think it's all that and you know why not think it's all that so today i bought this sony x5000 camera um i guess that's what it's called it's an e-mount camera and it looks like these on the box i am currently using this camera to record right now um so if you see me looking up like this it's because i'm looking at the flip screen it also has a flip screen but i'll get to that later okay and this camera is roughly around 499 dollars and 99 cents but i got this camera from dirt cheap in lafayette louisiana yes you heard me say it from the store dirt cheap um so i got this camera 60 percent off so it made it to about 300 dollars and then the guy who actually helped me get the camera gave me another discount so i'm not sure how much the discount was but the total ended up to being $197 or $96 one of the two, which is which is way better than paying $500 for this camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, about this camera, it is Wi-Fi certified. Um, it has 20.1 megapixels. Um, the iOS setting is 100 through 16,000. You can do self portraits. It has a built in flash. Um, it's full HD of 1080, and all of this is on the front part of the box. On the back part of the box, it just tells you like what's included. So, um, the supplied accessories are the AC adapter, rechargeable battery pack micro usb cable shoulder strap and standard zoom lens um you can plug in a hdmi cable port um it takes sd chips um it's mac friendly so i have a mac um it's mac friendly so inside this box comes with the instruction manual i guess you would call it now if you ever shop that dirty cheap you know that when you go to buy electronics or things like that you can open up the box you can see what's in it <clears throat> so when i was at the store i was able to open up the box to make sure that i had everything included so i had to check to make sure i had the charger i had to make sure that i had the camera i had to make sure that i had the lens i had to make sure that the camera actually worked i had to make sure that the warranty was inside I had to make sure that the manual was inside because i like to have these things just in case if i needed them you know you can have them so first thing so yeah um somebody had already opened up this box so the pieces in here are pretty not damaged but you can tell it's not new so the first thing I have is this Capture One Express for Sony Phase One booklet. I'm not sure if this was supposed to have, you know, other steps or anything, but apparently from looking in the inside, it's like a little um, <clears throat> video editing software, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if this belongs with this particular camera i'm pretty sure it does but whatever the next thing that comes inside is the instruction manual when i open this they had makeup on the side but you know what it's okay it's okay because i can still use this so this just tells you like how to charge it how to use the buttons and the functions where everything is how to um you know Pretty much use the use the dang thing um next is the this okay so this came in there and this is definitely not for this camera this is for i'm not even sure which kind of camera but it's definitely not my camera so i'm just gonna skip it 
Um, next, which came in here, this is pretty like all over the place, but it's this Sony lens and accessories like manual package thing, and it's like a big map, so it's all bent up and stuff. But on this page, it has like a little chart. Um, it tells you about the body lens compatibility. Um, then you open it again, it tells you what type of lens gives you what type of pictures you want, like portraits, things like that, I guess. So, comes with this. Okay, alright, you can see that there. Um, open it some more and it goes into the it tells you everything and then you open it again and then it's this big chart full of lens microphones tripods charger packs batteries all good stuff for each type of sony camera that is out there it tells you what you can buy and what's you know, compatible for it Next, it comes with this USB charger port, so you can plug it into your computer and charge it, or you can plug it into the charger adapter that comes with it that plugs into the wall. Can you just plug in it right there, and you're good to go. Um, it also comes with a strap, a shoulder strap, and this is the limited warranty that also comes with the camera. So that is all that's in this box. Since I'm currently using the camera to film, I can just record with my old camera and show you the actual body of the camera and how the screen flips, how the lens comes all, um, the buttons to show you how the lens come off, the function buttons, the power button, where you plug in the charger, where you put in the um, SD card, how you take the picture, how you create a movie, um, what else comes with this? You know, just the basic functions, where the battery back goes. Yeah, so that would be pretty much it for this camera. I mean, it's a pretty cool camera, and right now, as you can see, the quality of this camera is about five times better than my old camera that I always record videos on. I can actually blur out the background and still be in focus. So with my other camera, I couldn't do that. My lighting is the same, but the setting from the functions, I played around with it and it gave me the perfect picture. It's so vivid, the colors are there. I'm there, the background is blurred. In focus, it's just everything that you will want in a camera, and it was only $197. Like, you can't beat that. So, what you should do if you're looking for a camera to start off as a beginner like me, just go to Dirt Cheap and check to see if they even have cameras. Even my Lumix camera, I got that one from Dirt Cheap for $130. Like, just check, you can check Dirt Cheap, you can check Pawn Shop, you can check online. Um, but like me, I'd rather go to a store like that where I can walk in and open up the box and check to make sure that my contents are in the box and that I'm not getting some, you know, thrown together things, you know what I'm saying? So definitely check out stores first before you actually order a camera offline, just to be sure. With that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe, please let me know what you think. This will be all for my video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.